With the end of the year coming up, we look back at the biggest engineering developments of 2024. First up is AI. AI has seen some significant developments this year, which look to significantly and quickly be changing our lives, for better or for worse. OpenAI has been relentless in its developments this year. First, they released ChatGPT 4.0. The O stands for Omni, signifying the model's ability to read and reason across text, media, and video. Now, people can speak to ChatGPT like a digital assistant, asking it a question and even interrupting it while it's speaking. Hey, actually, that's, um, that's a little slow. Could you count faster? Okay, that was a little bit too fast. It can also read an image or a desktop and answer questions about its contents. The objects you're showing are una manzana and un platano in Spanish. Nice for choice. Then, just this December, OpenAI released Sora, its video generating model. It's essentially the next evolution of text-to-image generative AI models capable of transforming both text prompts and even still images into videos. Now, anyone with a ChatGPT premium plan can generate a video that is near indistinguishable from a real video. It's amazing to see what technology is capable of. But OpenAI has yet to address the enormous energy cost, privacy concerns, and misinformation threats that grow as their AI models grow. How will humanity adapt to this continuing AI tech boom? As OpenAI charges forward, other companies are struggling to catch up. Apple Intelligence was announced alongside the iPhone 16 this year, promising an enhanced Siri and AI assistance in other apps. But months after it dropped, there doesn't seem to be many features available yet. Writing tools helps people do things like summarize their notes, change the tone of their messages to be friendlier or more professional, among others. Apple Intelligence also filters and summarizes people's notifications and emails now, ensuring they only receive pertinent information. Compared to the capabilities of its competitors, Apple Intelligence feels lackluster. But Apple says they are phasing the release of features to ensure the privacy of its users, instead of rushing them out the door. Their caution is certainly appreciated, considering the ethical concerns plaguing OpenAI's models. Apple has long since presented itself as a company that values its clients and their data privacy. Only time will tell how much this distinguishes them from their contemporaries. As of December the 12th, ChatGPT has now been incorporated into Siri, allowing users access to it 30 times a day. One other AI model that rose to fame, or infamy, is XAI's Grok2. This year, the Grok2 Beta was released to Twitter or X premium subscription users, generating both text and images for them. But unlike its contemporaries, Grok2 had much looser restrictions on the images that users could generate. This caused much controversy, especially during the presidential elections. The image generator was capable of creating pictures of the presidential candidates boxing, or even recreate brands and copyrighted characters. The model was a response to Elon Musk's distaste for his competitor Google and their Gemini AI, calling them a woke bureaucratic blob. Grok2 itself is still in its beginning stages, but the company behind it, XAI, was able to raise around $6 billion to fund development in May. Who knows how this controversial AI will grow? When it comes to robotics, everyone is calling 2024 the year of the humanoid robots. And it's no surprise when one company after another has come out with new and amazing developments in their tech. Tesla turned heads during its We Robot event, bringing out a veritable army of its Tesla Optimus units. The Tesla Optimus showed off its walking capabilities, dancing, speaking, and even bartending. 
Its 40 electromechanical actuators and neural network allow it a broad range of human-like movement and precise object handling. However, it disappointed when evidence came out that the Teslas were being piloted by people. More recent promotions try to impress Optimus's independence. This video shows it successfully walking up an incline of uneven ground. We even get to see it skid on the earth and quickly readjusting itself to stay upright. An outstanding feat for a bipedal robot. Another robot lighting up the internet is the Boston Dynamics Atlas. Just this year it got a complete revamp, changing from a hydraulic robot to a robot with electric 360 degree joints. This gives it a flexibility that is unique to it compared to other humanoid robots. As seen in the video, Atlas folds in on itself to stand up, hips swiveling in ways that flesh and blood humans couldn't. This new Atlas is also capable of reacting to real-time environmental feedback. If something bars its way in the middle of a task, it can reorient itself, adjust its position and then complete it. The fully autonomous watermark emphasizes Atlas's ability to perform complex tasks by itself. Perhaps a response to the Tesla Optimus being puppeted remotely during the Wii Robot event. Every robotics company is gunning for the day they can be commercialized and put to practical use. Aptronics Apollo seems the closest to hitting this goal. This year, they released a video collaborating with Mercedes-Benz, showing Apollo units assembling a car piece by piece. If this collaboration is successful, the Apollo could revolutionize the industrial assembly line. The hope is to automate physically demanding, repetitive and dull tasks, allowing the robots to fill in gaps in the labor force, especially during a labor shortage. It would also help prevent the injuries from workplace accidents or more dangerous jobs. Standing at 5 foot 8 inches, the Apollo is capable of carrying up to 55 pounds, perfect for carrying and transferring packages. It's designed to operate in industrial spaces and work safely alongside human beings. A robot meant to assist people, not replace them. Its real effects on human jobs and the job market still remains to be seen. Transportation has also seen some exciting developments this year. Tesla blew headlines with its reveal of the Cybercab, designed to be a fully automated electric car. It would be the closest to a self-driving car that humanity has seen yet. There is no steering wheel, meaning there is no option for emergency manual control, unlike Tesla's other autopilot vehicles. The current design only allows for two passengers, but includes a built-in tablet for both operating the cab and for mid-drive entertainment. According to Musk, unsupervised testing will start in Texas and California in 2025 and provides the optimistic estimate of production starting in 2026. For any Texans and Californians concerned about street safety, there's one comfort. Trials will launch with a remote operator behind the wheel for safety or redundancy purposes. Considering the Tesla FSD's record of car accidents and recalls, it's good to hear they aren't jumping into the deep end with their self-driving cybercab. Meanwhile, people have also been eagerly looking into more eco-friendly public transportation and taking it to the air. Jobby Aviation demonstrated their flying hydrogen electric taxis capabilities earlier this year, traveling 841 kilometers and producing only water as its exhaust. With its hydrogen-powered fuel cells, the flying taxi could become a more environmentally friendly alternative to traditional gas-powered jets for mid-range regional travel. Flights from San Francisco to San Diego no longer risk heavily damaging our planet's atmosphere for a relatively short flight. The hydrogen tank generates electricity through an electrochemical reaction with oxygen from the air, which then powers the air taxi's fuel cell system, producing water and heat as byproducts. This then powers its six propellers, allowing the aircraft to take off and land vertically. The craft's design is based on Joby's original battery electric aircraft, which was then translated into being powered by hydrogen. When it comes to the sea, Transportation has seen its own revolutionary developments. 
Boeing's Liberty Lifter released a new video showing an artist's rendition of its wing-in-ground effects, which lifts the massive seaplane off of the water as it speeds across the ocean. According to Aurora's statement, the program aims to design, build, float and fly an affordable X-plane that demonstrates revolutionary heavy airlift capability from the sea. It offers enhanced capabilities for sea-based research and rescue operations and improved disaster response efficiency across challenging maritime environments. The ship would allow for quick, heavy lift transportation without the need for an airfield or shipping port. The wing-in-ground effect is created by the shape of the Liberty Lifter's wings, building air pressure between it and the water surface and lifting the craft upward. With the technology quickly catching on in other vehicles, it's exciting to see how these hybrid seaplanes could rise again. This year has proven itself an exciting year for space travel, full of many ups and downs. SpaceX rocked the world when it successfully caught its super-heavy rocket booster from falling through the sky using only a pair of massive metal chopsticks. The booster alone is as high as a 20-story building. It oriented itself for a controlled descent by performing a flip maneuver. This positioned the engine downwards, allowing for better precision for its landing. With the booster's mid-air catch, SpaceX has now unlocked what could be the solution to reusing rockets and quicker setups for the next flight. This is all in service of Elon Musk's goal to establish human settlements in Mars. Technology is still a long way away, but this is just one small step towards space flights. To help augment humanity's travel towards the stars, we've designed robotic companions who can journey where we currently cannot. Companions like an AI-powered robot dog capable of leaping across the rugged low-gravity surfaces of asteroids. Inspired by a cat's ability to twist and land on its paws, researchers from the Harbin Institute of Technology developed this robot using reinforcement learning. Instead of relying on heavy stabilization hardware, the robot employs a model-free control system to swing its four legs in coordinated motion. Such a design allows the robot to adjust its posture mid-air, correct tilt and even reorient to face a new direction. The robot is meant to address the struggles robots with treads or wheels have when it comes to navigating low-gravity areas. If the tech develops further, astronauts might just have a new best friend. This time, little Taters didn't need to leave the comfort of its own home. Earlier this year, NASA was able to stream a video via Deep Space Laser showing the orange tabby cat Taters chasing a laser of its own across its sofa at home. The video traveled a whopping 19 million miles from space to be received by the Hale Telescope at the Palomar Observatory. Crossing that distance only took 101 seconds, streaming at 267 megabits per second. For comparison, the average internet speed in the United States is around 219 megabits per second. The demonstration is part of the Deep Space Optical Communications mission, which aims to develop more advanced communications capable of crossing distances further than the Earth and Moon. At this rate, astronauts will be able to stream Netflix faster in space than on Earth. Space might be humanity's eventual goal, but that would mean nothing if the Earth is destroyed. Thankfully, we've seen plenty of developments in the worldwide effort to shift to cleaner, more sustainable energy. Nuclear fusion energy has seen huge leaps this year, with scientists in Oxford setting records with their joint European Taurus. The massive donut-shaped machine was able to sustain 69 megajoules of fusion energy for five seconds, using just 0.2 milligrams of fuel. That's enough to power about 12,000 houses for the same amount of time. Nuclear fusion is so potent because it's the same energy that fuels the sun. To produce such energy, 
Deuterium and tritium atoms were forced to fuse together under temperatures of up to 150 million degrees Celsius. That same process then released extreme amounts of heat, which is then used to generate electricity. If we can properly harness this nuclear fusion, it would mean boundless energy for people all over the world. The growing potential of nuclear energy has also seen progress in a different field. Size efficiency. Small modular reactors are nuclear reactors that can be crafted piece by piece in factories, saving money and time by just assembling it in sections on site. They only take three to four years to build compared to the ten years for a traditional reactor, while having a third of its power capacity. They are also much safer than traditional reactors, which are already safe enough when properly managed. Nuclear positivity is rising again as more research is poured into ensuring their safety and stability, while reducing its costs and the space necessary. Its power can provide carbon-free electricity without the reliance on the weather that wind and solar power has. With the current focus on clean energy, batteries and energy storage have become a major concern. Current lithium batteries are not environmentally friendly and last only 5 to 10 years. Enter the solid state battery. It uses solid electrolytes instead of liquid electrolytes, which allows them to charge faster than regular lithium ion batteries. They also have 2 to 10 times more energy capacity. Just this November, Huawei filed a patent application for their sulfide-based solid electrolyte technology. Toyota, Nissan and Samsung are already applying such batteries to their electric vehicles as well. Because they are smaller and more energy dense, they allow for an EV to be more lightweight or have more speed and distance for the same battery size, depending on the design. Either way, it would push EV capabilities further than they ever have before. Remember to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay updated with our latest content. And while you're here, why not check out another one of our exciting videos? Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.